Hi, I'm Rob Christensen, the Quality Assurance Manager at Avery Brewing Company. And in 2010, we started a full-time lab program, which included um, all aspects of brewing science, analytical and uh, microbiological. And one of our first purchases was a DR5000 spectrophotometer from Hawk. Uh, and that, that spectrophotometer was something that we bought uh, initially because we, we knew that it was one of the least expensive, most useful um, analytical tools that you could have in a brewing lab. And that soon became one of the most important pieces in the whole brewery because we were able to start to run VDKs, uh, vicinal diketones, for diacetyl levels in our tanks. So we always knew that uh, an IPA tank at Avery Brewing Company needed two weeks, 14, 15 days in the tank to make sure that we didn't have any diacetyl. Once we were able to determine uh, those levels uh, with, the, with the Hawk spectrophotometer, we were able to reduce our tank time down to 12 days. And just those two or three days when you're at max capacity in your brewery buys you a few thousand more barrels. And when you couple that with all the beers that you make, it, it's, a huge, it's a huge change in the way you look at your beer and it's a huge change in the way that you can produce beer and the speed at which you can produce quality beer. So the SRMs, the IBUs, uh, those were kind of the measurements we bought it for and those are still great. Uh, we use them, but the VDKs was the, the, the big change that made in our brewery and since then, We've been able to run fan levels, we've been able to look at total polyphenols, um, we've worked on alpha acid uh, degradation in our hops, and there's a whole multitude of things. Recently, uh, we did trials with Hawk for the DR6000, the new spectrophotometer, and it has the ASBC method, methods loaded on it, so that makes it much easier uh, to run many of the common uh, tests that we've been running and the, the ease of use of the new machine has just made things more fluid in the lab.